Cape Bend County has a strong tradition of giving back to the community. One popular fundraising technique is the charity golf tournament. Recently, a tournament was held that drew in an underserved audience, non-golfers. Co-chair Barbara Montgomery describes the Pink Ladies Golf Tournament for the American Cancer Society. It's a tournament actually for, our thought was, for women who do not play golf. It's uh, everybody dresses up in pink. We give a prize for the pinkest team, the pinkest lady, the highest score. And actually what we do is if they're on the golf course longer than two and a half hours, we blow a horn and that means everybody comes in because everybody doesn't always get to finish. But we thought it was a good way to combine a day of having fun, getting people interested in starting to play golf and giving money back to the, to the society. My mother had breast cancer and so did my aunt and I actually am a survivor myself. I think giving back, you know, just um, trying to help other people to do things because a lot of the money goes to breast cancer prevention. We've also been able to uh, contribute money to some families who couldn't afford to stay here, you know, for places for them to stay. And uh, I, I think it's just, I just think, you know, if you're lucky in life and, and things go well, I just think you, you should get back. Terry McCutcheon agrees that this event gives women a chance to reach out to other women in a relaxed atmosphere. Because I'm not an athlete at all, I enjoy the fact that I don't have to put on a gown or a, a dress up or do anything, but just show up and have fun and wear my pink. And we did do the um, gown whole gala thing for a while. And we determined that there's so much of that going on in Fort Bend County that we just wanted to do something more relaxed and fun. This nine-hole tournament actually has more than nine golf flags. Barbara Roselle describes the Pink Tribute Garden. I think uh, whenever I send a, uh, an email out to my friends and all, I just say it's like sending a $25 uh, Hallmark card, you know, especially for those, um, well, especially for all of them, you know, but to honor the memory, obviously, those people can't see the garden, but it makes people feel good that they're contributing the money to the Cancer Society to help fight cancer. And it's a way for them to see that they, you know, remember their loved ones. And those who are still fighting cancer, I think it's a great big encouragement to them. Colleen Wittosh describes some of the services the American Cancer Society is able to provide with funds raised by the tournament. The American Cancer Society um, services six counties within um, the Houston area, we provide free services for those undergoing cancer treatment. We have programs such as uh, Reach to Recovery where we will put a recently diagnosed cancer patient with one that's through the process and uh, on the survivor level. Um, we also have transportation. We provide free transportation for anybody needing uh, transportation to and from their appointments. Look good, feel better. Where uh, um, a woman who's undergoing uh, breast cancer treatment and undergoing chemotherapy treatment at the time, um, can come in for classes. Uh, we provide all the makeup that they go home with, um, and we also um, help them um, take care of their skin, help them um, be able to manage um, themselves once they're going through the process of um, their treatment. Um, the American Cancer Society also uh, reaches out to the community, and we are a very volunteer-based um, um, organization that tries to incorporate um, events like what we're doing today, Pink Ladies Golf Tournament, for those that want to come out and raise funds for cancer research and for our service programs. For more information, visit the American Cancer Society at www.cancer.org. You can find local services and events by entering your zip code into the My ACS section. For HealthWise, I'm Stacy Hawkins.